Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm doing my birthday book haul. So uh, it was my birthday recently and some lovely, lovely friends sent me some really great gifts and also family got me some really great bookish gifts. So I thought I would share them with you. So the first one, which you will have seen in the thumbnail, is this book. It's just a plain, plain paper book um, cut out to an E because my name's Eleanor and this was from my mother-in-law and I love this. I can't wait to put it on my shelf. In fact, I think I might do it now. So there it is on my shelf. My mother-in-law also very kindly got me this beautiful copy of Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert and I've never read Madame Bovary. It's one that I've always wanted to read and I think this cloth bound classic edition is beautiful. I love purple and yeah I just can't wait to finally get to this one. I don't know much about this but I do know it's about a woman called Emma. She marries a man called Charles Bovary and she believes that her life is beginning to become a whirlwind of social engagements and parties but Charles is just a provincial doctor and therefore life is a little bit different than she expected so she takes a lover and this is all about that and the deceit that follows and their lives so I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. So next the very lovely Janet from Swirly Girly Reads who I will link down below um, was so kind and really thoughtful in what she got me so she picked me a book um, which I'm really excited and I really want to read and it's called Rites of Passage by John N. Hensley. So this is a YA story from what I can gather it's about a girl she um never sort of passes up a dare and I believe her brother before he died um, challenged her to maybe join the military so she does um, and then she ends up falling for her sergeant and I'm sure stressful situations and romance ensue. Um, I'm really excited about this one, I've heard really good things. She also very kindly sent me this beautiful bookmark that said she believed she could and so she did. And just following this theme, I haven't actually got them because they're already on my keys. She sent me some personalised army dog tags and there's two of them and they have my name and my date of birth and my book channel name written on them and I think they're awesome. So they're on my keys and I'm loving them and it was just such a really thoughtful themed gift and I loved it. Thank you so much, Janet. Next up, the wonderful Caitlin from Kitty G who I love and adore and will also link below but you probably know her um, she's wonderful and such a great friend and she sent me three books and they're all three that I can't wait to try um, the first one is Maximum Ride by James Patterson and this is the angel experiment I don't know much about this um, it's not one that I've heard of before it's about a group of six children who are 98% human and 2% bird growing up in a lab um, and it's about um, rescuing angels from malicious mutants. I don't know, it just sounds brilliant and I can't wait to try it. Next up she picked uh, Tooth and Claw by Jo Walton. I haven't read any Jo Walton and this one sounds really exciting and on the front it says the pride and prejudice of the dragon world so I'm really excited to try this one too and um, get into my first Jo Walton. She also sent me The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Better. This is one that sounds really intriguing. It says Alice is destined to become Queen of Wonderland until her parents are murdered. She flees to safety in our world. Years, years passed and now it's time to return. Step into a dazzling new world. Dare to enter the looking glass maze because this is Wonderland as you've never seen it before. So I'm really excited to try this one. So Caitlin picked me three really wonderful books and two at least I've never heard of before. So I'm really excited about those. Thank you, Caitlin. Next up, my wonderful friend Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings um, bought me three books as well. I'm very, very blessed to have wonderful friends who buy me books. Um, she bought me Shades of Milk and Honey by Mary Robinette Cow. Um, I've always wanted to try this one. It's been on my wish list for ages, so I'm really excited to try it out. From what I can gather, these are sort of Regency novels with all the things, the trials and tribulations and social commentary that you would expect from these type of novels, except they have this edition of magic in them. And this is the first book in a series, so I'm really excited to see what I think of it. 
another book that I've wanted to read for ages and in fact I've had out from the library numerous times and just not got around to reading it quick enough before it's had to go back is My Year of Meats by Ruth Ozeki. I loved Ozeki's Tell for a Time Being and I really wanted to try one of her other books and I own All Over Creation I think it is and now I own this one so I'm looking forward to trying it out. This is about two women and a cookery show um, so what could be better? I love a bit of cooking. And then following the theme from Caitlin I think these two have um, they're, they're subtly hinting that I need to try Jo Walton is Among Others and this one looks beautiful. I know both Caitlin and Mercedes loved this book so it's really time that I try it out as well. In fact I've heard nothing but good things about this all around booktube so I'm really looking forward to trying it out for myself. Next I was very kindly gifted by um, a family member this I'm so excited. Now, you may not know this, but I have read Harry Potter when they first came out, um, but I only own two of the books. For some reason, over the years, some of them have gone missing and I don't know where. And so I put on my wish list a long time ago this set because I just thought it looked beautiful and I wanted to own a proper set and I was very kindly bought these for my birthday so now I have this beautiful set of Harry Potter books and I couldn't be more pleased. The wonderful and lovely Lauren from Lauren and the Books who I share my birthday with which is super exciting um, very kindly sent me because she knows I love tea pigs jelly and ice cream tea pigs um, these say birthday blend uh, naturally caffeine free which is great for me because caffeine just does wicked things to me um, jelly and ice cream and it says on the back in 2006 the iPhone didn't exist the Kardashians were not a big thing nobody hashtagged anything people asked directions smoking in pubs happened Lance Armstrong was liked desperate house rise wives ruled our lives, Woolworths pick and mix ruled our kids lives, avocados were not cool and tea pigs was launched. We celebrate 10 years of great quality tea with this blend of strawberry, jelly and ice cream. Grab a mug and raise a birthday toast to tea pigs. So I share a birthday with tea pigs too um, and I can't wait to try this one. It just looks brilliant and I can tell you it's in my cup over there so I'm going to try it in a minute and I'll let you know what I think. Also very kindly got me this um, two, two uh, bag set of winter red tea which is also caffeine free and sounds lovely. It's got orange peel, cinnamon and cloves in a red bush tea base which sounds just perfect for this time of year so I'm super excited about that. Oh my goodness, that's really, really nice. It's got a nice um, sweet like kick afterwards and very strawberry. Oh, I really like this. This is definitely going to be a really nice sort of a dessert tea, one that I can have after my meal and feel like I've had a dessert. Ooh. Yep, Lauren, it's a big thumbs up from me on that one. Thank you so much. And um, I wish... I was showing you the beautiful mug that Lauren also got, uh, which had my name on and about how much I love tea and books. And um, unfortunately, it's in the dishwasher, so I can't show it to you because it would look a bit mucky. But um, I love it. And thank you so much, Lauren. You are a wonderful friend. And ah, oh, I may have to just pause this and come back to you when I've finished. <laughs> And then before I talk about the books that I bought for myself for my birthday, because you've got to buy yourself some books, uh, my wonderful husband bought me a voucher to Mr B's um, Emporium, Book Emporium in Bath, where I have been before for a reading spa. Um, but I really wanted to go again. It was a number of years ago now, maybe five years ago that I went. And he got me this for my birthday. And I'm so excited. Basically, you get to go along to Mr B's book emporium in Bath and you meet with one of their booksellers, you sit down, you have coffee and a nice piece of cake in front of a, a sort of roaring fire on two lovely armchairs and you talk to them about the books you've read recently, what you like, what you don't like. They then disappear off while you munch on your cake and drink your coffee and they go and come back with a massive stack of books and they take you through them all, telling you a bit about the book, telling you why they think you might like them and then once your consultation has finished you have have, I think it's £55 
that you can either spend on some of the books that are there if you like the sound of any of them or anything in you know any of the books in the shop um so i loved it last time it was a really great way to get a personalized recommendation for books and i can't wait to go again in fact i've already booked to go uh, next year in i think it's march or april i think it's april so i'm yeah i'm really excited okay let's talk about the books that i bought for myself the first one is a children's book which i love the sound of and i also think matilda will love and it's sleeping beauty a mid-century fairy tale. I went to the science museum for my birthday with Matilda and my husband Jamie and uh, we just wanted to do a museum and something different as a family and it's a Sunday so it's free parking and I just saw this in the shop and I just thought it sounded brilliant. On the back it says meet a science fiction obsessed heroine, a jealous witch and a resourceful rescuer in this stylish reworking of the classic fairy tale set in the 1950s and the 2950s this story is packed with colorful mid-century detail and i'll just show you an example of one of the pages inside so i can't wait to read this with matilda um, although i might read it first Next up, I treated myself to some graphic novels, which I may not have picked up for myself otherwise because they are treats. They're a little bit more expensive than just regular books, um, but I'm so excited. So two of them you've probably seen on Booktube quite a lot and I'm a bit late to the party, but I'm really excited. I keep hearing great things. The first one is The Encyclopedia of Early Earth by Isabel Greenberg. Um, I've just heard brilliant things about this and I really love the artwork. And then more recently, Isabel Greenberg has bought out the 100 Nights of Hero. And again, the artwork looks brilliant and I've heard the story is great. So I treated myself to that one too. If you've been watching my channel recently, you'll know that I have fallen in love with the Giant Days graphic novels. And so I bought volume three for myself while I was in the graphic novel shop. Um, this is just such a fun story of a group of three girls and their university experiences and just makes me reminisce. And then finally, because I'm now on a hunt for the next Lucy Nisley, because I have no more to read, um, I saw this one and I. I hadn't heard of it and it just really excited me and this is called Food Anatomy the Curious Parts and Pieces of Our Edible World by Julia Rothman. So this is very much seems the same style of artwork as Lucy Nisley and it just talks about food. On the back it says delve into the culinary world of Julia Rothman's delightful visual tour of cookery and international cuisine. Histories and curiosities of food around the world are illustrated and explained with Rothman's uniquely charming style. What does an asparagus fort look like? What country puts banana sauce on their french fries? What's the difference between fish fillet and fish steak? Indulge yourself with a recommended daily allowance of facts and fun. And I just, this just sounds right up my street. Oh, there's even a pizza page. So I can't wait to try this out and find out some fun facts and enjoy this wonderful artwork. So I was super duper spoilt for my birthday this year and I'm so grateful to everyone who sent me anything and or and sent me birthday wishes on Instagram and Twitter. I just felt really loved and I had such a wonderful time. So thank you so much. And thank you to the lovely ladies, um, friends who sent me books and yeah, I'm really such a, a spoilt lucky lady. So anyway, I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now, booktube.